Art lovers voicing their frustration, saying they want their money back after the FBI raided the Orlando Art Museum over concerns work by a famous artist were fake. News 6's Brian Didlake has the latest on the investigation. Our audience deserves to know the truth. This uh, instrument of the community uh, needs to be transparent. County, city, and art community leaders demanding answers from the Orlando Museum of Art. An announcement going out saying Aaron DeGroft is no longer its CEO and director. It wasn't clarified if DeGroff was fired or resigned. This comes as the Federal Bureau of Investigation raided the museum's Heroes and Monsters exhibit this past week. 25 pieces of art claiming to be painted by John Michelle Basquiat. They removed these pictures because it appears they are fake. They want to remove them from the marketplace so that uh, no one attempts to sell these pictures down the road. Chad Scott, a veteran arts contributor writing for Forbes, was there opening night. The event drawing thousands to see work advertised to be a rare find. He is the most influential artist this country has ever produced. At auction, his paintings can sell for in excess of 100 million dollars. FBI reports say they've been looking into the Basquiat painting since 2012 after they were discovered in LA. Two unnamed men taking credit for finding them inside a storage unit owned by a now deceased screenwriter. Before his death, the storage unit's owner signed documents from investigators saying he never owned or heard of the paintings. After that, the paintings were auctioned off. Documents still unclear when exactly they made their way to DeGroft. However, investigators did note an email exchange between DeGroft and an expert hired to write an authentication certificate. In it, she asks DeGroft her name be excluded. DeGroff in a reply said, you want us to put out there you got 60 grand to write this? Okay then, shut up. I did reach out to DeGroff by phone and email, but no answer. As several community leaders tell me the museum going forward needs to act fast. Some people are even starting to ask for their tickets to be reimbursed for the opening, you know? It's like we've been, we've been duped. I would hope that the museum and its leadership would put the rest of the story out there as quickly as possible. That transparency is the one thing that will attract people and embrace people uh, into the uh, museum's future. Terry Olson with Orange County's Art and Cultural Affairs says his department approved a $155,000 grant for the museum. The Basquiat paintings mentioned in the application, according to Olson, who says future funding may be affected. No, we don't take money back. And certainly what happens this year can affect their score for next year. Although it's about the institution of the museum, not a particular person. At this time, no charges have been filed. We did reach out multiple times to the Orlando Museum of Art for comment, but have not heard back. In the newsroom, Brian Ditlake getting results, News 6.